What is up, YouTube? This is the Rogue Player here, and I am back again with another brand new deck profile. I'm sorry I haven't been around for a while. I've been really busy. Stuff's been going on. Um, work is happening. Just a bunch of crazy stuff that's been going on in my life right now. So, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading. You know, usually I upload at least twice a week. I try to do that much. But lots of stuff's been going on, so... This is um, my Mask Hero deck profile. I haven't played this deck in a very long time because I went to regionals with it. I went like 4-4 four, four and I kind of dropped it and stopped playing it. Um, but I'm playing it again. I'm going to start trying to mess with it. Even though Link Format's coming out, I'm still going to try to um, see what this deck can do. So let's get right into the deck profile. So we're starting off with... Three Shadow Mist. This guy searches for a mass, uh, mass uh, change spell card when he's special. When he's sent to the graveyard, add a hero. Then we're running three Bubble Man. Bubble Man is your special summon from the hand. He's one of the best cards um, in the deck. One Blaze Man. Blaze Man, I mostly use him to copy the attribute and send from deck to grave. Blaze Man's decent. I wasn't running him before because I thought he was a pretty bad card. He is mainly for fun purposes, though. He's not really meant to be played competitively, but you can play him competitively. But he is kind of a waste of a normal summon unless you have a plan ahead. One Vion. I finally got Vion. This guy is actually pretty sweet. Um, so he sends a hero from deck to grave. And then... Uh, you can just send Shadow Mist, search Bubble Man, then once per turn, you can banish Hero at Polly, but I'm not running him for that reason. Then we're running for, aside from Heroes, we're running 210 Goldfish. Um, I dropped Gold, uh, my second Gold um, Goblinberg for him. So, uh, yeah, 10 Goldfish is a little bit better because, you know, he's just, he's pretty good. Two Summoner Monk. So Summoner Monk, uh, just switch Ditch a Dead spell card, special from deck, and then we got Goblin Berg and Lava Golem. I put Lava Golem in here because he's a great tech card. There is not really any cards in this deck that I can search for him, but I, number one, I needed a card to, to for room, and also he's a really good card himself. So yeah, Lava Golem's in here. Then for spells are running, three Hero Lives, just probably the best card you want to open up if you don't open up Summoner Monk. Three um, E-Call. Before this, I was actually only running two E-Call, but then I found out how good E-Call was because normally, when I was playing Totally Awesome Heroes um, last, um, the last region I played this deck with, I went off, but then after that, my hand would become dead, and I was like, you know what, I really need a, a card in this deck that can help me unbrick my hand. My hand will be just either be trap cards I can't use, or I wouldn't have any monsters at all. So, you kind of need triple E-Call if you're playing the Toad version or the normal Mask Hero version. They're running three Mass Change, pretty generic, one Mass Charge to add back. Um, one Miracle Fusion, because I am running um, two Elemental Heroes. You will see that later in the video. One Upstart Goblin, two MSTs, one Rota, Dark Hole, Raigeki. That's for the spells. Look at that secret, though. That's beautiful. Anyway, for Traps are running, Double Storming. This is my favorite um, Mirror Force card besides Drowning. Drowning is just freaking broken. Um, two Mind Crush. I also tech this in this deck. Um, every deck searches, so Mind Crush is just like the perfect card. Even like besides Ash, no, I'm, what am I talking about? Ash. I'm thinking about other something else. Sorry, but anyway, double Mind Crush. Stop searches. Same as Ash, I believe. Yeah. So if you're pulling searches, you can just do the mind crush. That's why I was comparing to Ash. I was like, why am I comparing Ash to this card? Yeah, so Ash stops. You know, if you can't afford an Ash, um, Mind Crush is probably your second best thing. Um, one warning, one Osis, and the trap card lineup for Rafflesia, Floodgate Bottomless, and Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare. Now for the extra running, double Dark Law. 
the best card in, in the game right now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But this card is so good. Um, basically, it's a macro. It's a walking macros for your opponent only. Double acid. Norm normally, people only run one or zero, but I'm running uh, two because I go in a lot. And plus, I'm running the um, absolute zero, so I kind of need him. One Anki, and... Um, that's for the Master Heroes. For the two E-Heroes running one absolute, obviously. If any Master Hero deck does run E-Heroes, it's going to be him. And one Shining. I only... Absolute, most people probably know why, but Shining, I run him in here because there's a few extra deck targets, like the, um, the XYZs. And also, he can add back Heroes, and he can become like a 29 beat stick if you don't already have other Heroes banished. So... And he can add the Banish Heroes back to your hand. So, I really like Shining. Like, he's not... I don't... I wouldn't normally go into him, but he is a good card. Now, for the XYZ, one Excalibur, one Blade Armor, one Samurai, one Castell, one Trap Tricks, one Dark, um, Dark Rebellion. And I chose 101 and something else. I chose these cards over 101 and, like, some other random card, which is the Utopia Brigade, which I finally have. So anyway, sorry for all the stuttering and confusion. I this is I haven't uploaded in, in a while. So I hope you enjoyed the deck profile. Um, please comment, subscribe. Please share the video. Please share my channel. Um, you know, let the Rogue Nation grow. Go Rogue.